Hi, I'm Miki Tebeka and welcome to our video series about interfaces. This time we're going to talk about generics or type constraints that were added in Go 180. Let's have a look. Say you write a statistic package and you want to return a max from a slice of numbers. These numbers can be either integers or floats. And when you look at the code for max ints and the code of max floats, they look exactly the same apart from the types. Let's close this one. And here we have a test, right? So we example for ints and example for floats. And when we run the tests, we see they pass. All right. So what can we do? Let me remove this one, toggle test coverage. So I'm going to remove one of these functions and I'm going to say that we have a max which returns the number of numbers. And then I'm going to add a type constraint. So saying t, which can be either an int or a float 64. And now I'm going to say this is t and this is t. Okay, so now my function can get either a slice of ints or a slice of float 64. Let's fix the test as well. So this is going to be example of max. And I'm going to copy this one as well. I'm going to call this ivals for integer values. And then use max and max and max for these, which are going to be the float values. Right, and it should be again like this. And now I can get rid of this test. We see that everything works except this one. When I'm doing max of ivals, the Go compiler understands that this is now a max of integer slice. But when I'm doing nil, which has no type, the compiler says, I really don't know what you're trying to do here. You need to help me a little bit, tell me which version. And let's say I want the integer version of max. Right, and now I can run the test and it also passes. Let's say in my code, I have a type group, which is an integer. And I'm going to do now gvals, which is group and then gvals. And the compiler is going to tell me, hey, this is not going to work. I don't know how to work with this, but it also gives me a hint about this tilde. What we can do here is we can say that this is an int or anything which is an int under the hood. And now the compiler is happy. If you're going to run the test, it is going. Why are you going to fail? Oh, because I forgot another one. Let's run it now. And now we're passing. All right. Another thing we can do, and this is what brings us to interfaces, is we can actually take this constraint and give it a name. And we do it with an interface. So let's say we say that this is something that can be ordered, and this is an interface. And here we can put our types. And then we say that t is ordered. Right, and now we can reuse this interface. So in Go on 18 and up, interfaces can be either a set of methods or a set of types, or even both, but this is not very common. Let's say we decide also that we might want to use also strings in our interface. These strings are also comparable in Go. They are compared in a lexicographical order. So I can do less than for a string. And this is fine until I get to this error value. So far, it returns 0. And 0 is valid for both integer and float64, but it's not valid for a string. For a string, I need to return an empty string. This is the 0 value. The way to fix this is to say var 0 of type t, and then return this 0. 
because we don't assign a value, Rho is going to initialize the variable with uh, the zero value for the specific type, and now it is going to compile and work for us. That's it. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Thank you.